Hey guys, today we'll be covering a 2020 school drama miniseries called Dalgana. The series begins with two school students, Song Min Na, and her friend being bullied by Jeon Bo Min, the daughter of the school's head teacher. Jeon makes fun of Song's clothes and appearance. Meanwhile, Song can be seen frightened and standing still, blocking herself from Jeon. When Jeon raises her hand to attack Song, a boy arrives and grabs her hand. But just before Song can see the boy's face, she falls to the floor, unconscious. In the next scene, Song is talking to her mother over the phone about her first day at college. Her mother suggests she take care of herself and enjoy her day. Right then, a girl comes running from behind and collides with Song. She immediately apologizes to Song and walks away. After she is gone, Song notices her purse lying on the floor. She tries to call out to the girl, but she has already left the building. Later, Song is introduced to her new class by the head teacher, who informs her that she can ask Ha Jin Hyuk if she has any problems. Ha Jin Hyuk is a class representative and is one of the most handsome students there. Seeing him, Song gets excited and thanks the head teacher for asking Ha Jin to help her. After the teacher leaves, Song stares at Ha Jin, while two other female students, Jung Ji Yoon and Lee Si Yeon, approach her and start talking with her. During their conversation, Jung appears sad and mentions that she lost her purse while on her way to college. Hearing this, Song takes out the purse from her bag and hands it to her. This delights Jung, and she thanks Song for her politeness. In the following scene, the college year ends, and Song and Ha Jin can be seen walking together out of the building. Ha Jin asks for Song's phone and gives her his number, asking her to call if she has any problems or queries. He then says goodbye and walks away. While Song is admiring Ha Jin, Jung and Lee arrive and ask her if she also lives in Macdong. Song says yes and takes the duo for a treat at a cafe she works at. In the cafe, while Jung and Lee argue and go to the washroom, Jaeon enters and approaches Song after she recognizes her. Song is shocked to see Jaeon as the latter bullied her a lot in school. Meanwhile, Jaeon comes closer to Song to talk to her. Seeing this, Song gets terrified and tries to block herself like she did at the beginning of the series. Jaeon then tries to hit Song, but gets blocked by a handsome boy named Choi Gong Min. Choi asks Jaeon to stop bullying Song and get out of the cafe. In the meantime, Ha Jin, Jung, and Lee also arrive and support Song. After finding herself outnumbered, Jaeon gets angry and walks out of the cafe. Moments later, when Ha Jin asks Song if she is alright, she replies no and falls on the floor unconscious. In the next scene, we are shown a flashback from Song's past, where she decides to leave the school due to Jaeon's continuous bullying. The scene then shifts back to the present, where Song wakes up from her sleep and gets ready for college. She reaches the college earlier than usual and starts murmuring that she is stronger than when she was in high school. She then assumes that Jaeon is in front of her and she starts shouting loudly in the class, waking up Choi who is sleeping just behind her. When Choi yells at her and asks her why she is shouting, Song replies that she wants to tell everyone that she is tougher than she looks. In the meantime, as the two are talking, another student, Tina, along with Ha Jin arrive and Tina starts fighting with Choi. Later, it is revealed that Tina and Choi are actually twins. Following this, all four gather at the park and start talking. However, in the middle of the conversation, Tina gets up and walks away, mentioning that she doesn't like Song. In the next scene, when Lee and Jung notice Song falling for Ha Jin, they approach her and try to make her understand that Ha Jin is helpful to all of the students, not only her. Jung also mentions that she too got confused with Ha Jin's behavior and got embarrassed after she confessed to him. Later, the students, including Jaeon, are in chemistry class. There, Song remembers her encounter with Jaeon in the classroom sometime before. When Song asks Jaeon why she's wearing the same uniform as her, Jaeon tells her that she too got transferred to the same college. Before leaving, she also tells Song that her father is the head of the college. Later at home, Song again murmurs alone and speaks to herself, saying that she is stronger than before and is not afraid of Jaeon anymore. The next day, Song can be seen standing outside her college, hesitating to enter. In the meantime, Choi approaches her and saves her from getting hit by a bicycle. After that, he asks Song if she is trying to skip the class. Song denies it and hesitantly walks inside. Seeing her upset, Choi grabs her hand and brings her out. Soon, the two spend their time playing different games at a game parlor and eating snacks. After this, Choi and Song rest at a park. Here, Song thanks Choi for taking her out and playing with her. Choi simply replies that she should listen to her heart and act accordingly to remain happy in life. Later, Choi and Song return back to the college and apologize to their teacher for skipping their classes. Soon, Choi walks away, leaving Song alone to attend the remaining classes. While Song is about to leave, Jaeon arrives there with two of her friends and asks her for some money. Fed up with the bullying, Song tries to act strong and replies that she will not give her any money. Hearing this, Jaeon comes closer to Song and tries to threaten her. But before she can do so, a teacher from a nearby class yells at them for making noise. Just then, Jaeon turns back and cleverly greets the teacher. 
Noticing her, the teacher quickly changes his tone and asks her if she is getting used to her new college surroundings. He also asks about Jayon's father, the chief of the college. After this, Jayon walks away with the teacher, telling him that she needs some information about the upcoming exam paper. Later in the evening, Jayon can be seen with the same teacher outside the teacher's room. After Jayon mentions that she will say good things about him to her father, the teacher provides her with the upcoming exam papers. Right then, Tina, who is studying late at school, witnesses the teacher talking with Jayon about the exam. After he leaves, she confronts Jayon and finds the upcoming exam papers inside her book. At first, Tina is surprised to see this, but later ends up bargaining with Jayon and getting a copy of the papers for herself. The next day inside the college's gymnasium, the PE teacher tests the skipping skills of the students. He talks about being fair to every student and urges them to take it seriously. Though he refuses the earlier students a second chance, he completely changes his mind when Jayon asks for one more try after failing on the first attempt. Seeing this, Ha Jin tries to protest against the teacher, but the latter orders him to remain silent and focus on the test. Later, Jung and Lee can be seen talking with Song and asking her to take them to her cafe and let them enjoy the macarons. In the meantime, they notice Tina walking alone and gazing at the sky. Lee mentions that though Tina is very serious about her grades, she is not focusing on her studies this time. Hearing this, Song becomes suspicious and starts following Tina. She catches up with her and inquires about why she dislikes her. Tina replies that she hates girls who run away from their problems by changing colleges. This surprises Song, but she nonetheless invites Tina to eat macarons at the cafe. After a while, Tina and Song can be seen at the cafe, where Song offers her some macarons and asks her if something is wrong with her. When Tina doesn't reply, Song again asks if there's something related to Jayon. This time also, Tina remains silent, and seeing this, Song concludes that Tina is behaving weirdly because of Jayon. After this, Song reveals how she was bullied by Jayon and her friends during her school days. Hearing this, Tina is taken aback and she asks Song why she didn't report it to the school authorities. Song replies that she reported it several times, but as Jayon's father was the head of the school, he let the matter slide away. After listening to Song's past and her circumstances, Tina also decides to share one of her secrets. In the following scene, Ha Jin, Choi, Jung, and Lee can be seen at the cafe alongside Song and Tina. After learning that Jayon took the exam papers from the teacher, Choi gets angry and suggests they report it to the school's authorities immediately. However, Ha Jin stops him and asks him to think calmly. When Tina mentions that despite getting the copy of the exam papers, she hasn't looked at them once, Song suggests that they get a confession from Jayon and then report to the authorities. Everyone agrees to this but are confused how to get the confession out of Jayon. Just then, Song tells them that she will make Jayon confess in her own way. The next day at school, Song approaches Jayon and mentions that she has something to tell her in private. Confused, Jayon takes Song outside and asks her what she wants to tell her. Song then tells Jayon that she has information about her stealing the exam papers from the teacher's room. Hearing this, Jayon gets angry and tries to hit Song. However, Song gathers some courage and shouts at Jayon that she is not afraid of her and threatens to report her to the administration and ruin her career. Enraged, Jayon confesses that she stole the exam papers, but still tells Song that no one can ruin her career as her father is the head of the college administration. She then pushes Song and walks away. Here, it is revealed that the interaction between Song and Jayon was recorded by Jung, Lee, and Tina. In the next scene, Song makes an announcement requesting students to turn on their TV in their classrooms. The confession of Jayon stealing the exam papers is played on the TVs. Everyone is shocked to see this, and at the same time, Jayon enters the broadcasting room and yells at Song for doing all this. She also tries to hit her, but Song grabs her hand and warns her to remain quiet. She then tells her that she is no longer afraid of her and that she only pities her. Following this, the head teacher makes an announcement complimenting Song and her friends for reporting the problem to the administration and contributing to maintaining fairness among the students. In the last scene, Tina and Ha Jin visit Song at her cafe and order the usual. During their conversation, Song asks about Choi, and Tina replies that he is angry with Song over something. She also reveals that Choi mentioned about saving Song from getting bullied in the past. As soon as Song hears this, she asks Tina and Ha Jin to look after the cafe and rushes out of there. Moments later, she arrives at the park where Choi can be seen sitting alone on a bench. She then runs towards him and hugs him tightly, revealing that it was Choi who saved her from getting beaten by Jayon at the beginning of the series.